Are you looking for something? Can't see hide nor hair of my friends. They went after a herd of behemoths, and now they're overdue. Only seasoned hunters go after machines like that. Can't they handle themselves? It's not them I'm worried about. We need special cables from those behemoths to keep our cannons firing. If they miss the herd, Petra will hand me my hide. I never should have agreed to that trade. What trade did you agree to? Petra assigned me and Balaja the task of getting cables from that herd. But Zorgris and Balaja are meant for each other. Like hammer and steel. They just don't realize it. So I agreed to trade duties with him to, you know, hurry things along. Didn't Balaja wonder why? It was her idea. Now I'm worried it worked too well. If they're so busy snogging that they missed a herd, it'll be my skin on the line. Where did you last see them? Right here, before they left. Off they went, arguing the whole way. What were they arguing about? How best to follow the herd. Sure, Grease is good with a bow, but he could get lost in his own home. What have I done? Why not explain what happened to Petra? If you want to tell Petra, be my guest. Maybe she'll blow her top at you and tire herself out before she gets to me. I would run off in search of them, but since Jorgris took my place, I have his spot on guard duty. I can look for your friends. Where have they gone? They were headed to the Arch, northwest of here, to watch for the herd. I hope they've found their way there. If we miss that herd, we won't be able to keep our cannons firing. I'll throw myself into this fire if I've risked our freedom. Let's keep that as a last resort. I'll do what I can. Pitchcliff. The Glindorks keep attacking. They'll kill my brother. Everyone. Not if I have anything to say about it.
with these food talks attack. I better speak to whoever's in charge. You just flew in on a rainbow and saved our sorry slags. Where'd you come from? A man named Hackard outside the village warned me. Traitor! I ordered him to stay put! I'll throw him in irons! He's dead. What? That scorched out, filthy, rotten, dirt wad of a brother! Why didn't he listen? Why? He was worried you and the entire town would be killed. Do you have any idea what could be drawing the Glinthawks? Has anything changed that might have lured the Glinthawks? Have you left machine scrap lying around? No. Us around use our scrap, not like the Karja. They only keep the pretty parts. So the Karja have been leaving scrap around? Here? Never! If a Karja wasted scrap on my watch, I'd pick it up and make him eat it. Why do you think the Karja have anything to do with the Glinthawks? We built this outpost to protect against the Karja. Now they're coming here to trade. Fine. Their shards are as good as anyone's. But everyone knows that they want this place. Come to think of it, they want every place. But how could the Karja have brought on the Glinthawks? If I ever get a break from them, I'll see if I can spare a man to follow the trail. Guaranteed, there's a Karja at the other end. Has anyone come trying to sell lures? They're devices that attract machines. Is that real? <laughs> Is that some sort of Nora joke? I'll take that as a no. What exactly do you do here? I'm the mayor. Mostly because I was too drunk to say no when my brother asked me. Hmm. Tell me where he is, and I'll lay him to rest once we get these glint hogs to flock off. You'll find him due south of here, along the river. Damn that fool. That bung. That lunkhead. Thank you for being with him at the end. Why don't I investigate why the glint hawks are attacking? You've got your hands full. Really? No one ever offers to help me. You, uh, any good at tracking? You could say that. All right, then. Let me know what you find. Hammer to steel. A carge is behind all this. doing by the sun it won't turn off that device is making the glint hawks attack turn it off me i don't know how to turn it off any more than i know how i turned it on i scrounged it from an old workshop <sighs> well that should do it now start talking why are you scrounging gear you don't even understand? 
My customers demand extraordinary pieces best found at the fringes of civilization. My tales of adventure only increase their value. Where others only dare tread, I flourish. No mountain climbs too high that I can't mount it. My trade demands sacrifice. Including the sacrifice of innocence? Those glint hawks swooped down and attacked everyone. I didn't mean for that to happen. I sought only to sate the appetites of rich nobles who never leave their mansions. You mentioned you found the device in a workshop? Yes. I camped out atop the snowy eastern ridge. No easy climb, even in my best years. But I girded my... Enough. Were there any other devices at this workshop? Abandoned equipment, the likes of which I've never seen. A peculiar silo remained impervious to my attempts to open it. As I searched, I wondered how many secrets lie hidden in this world. As we, in our ignorance, go about our daily... Your point? Oh. No, I didn't see another device. But one could still be there, waiting to unleash its horrors. Did you know this whole time that that device was luring Glinthawks? By the sun, no! I stashed it here for a while, but when I came back, I was nearly beheaded by one of those flying terrors. This device is dangerous. I have to find that workshop and make sure it's the last. Where is it? On the Eastern Ridge, just beyond my campsite. But after I descended from the workshop, a cracking above me signaled my doom. I dove into the river mere moments before an avalanche took out the path. You can't reach it now. The climb is too perilous. I'll take my chances. You just stay away from that workshop and try not to cause another mess. That car just said the workshop was near his campsite on the Eastern Ridge.
They're scanning for me. There, Allure. Done. No more lures. Now about this workshop. Draval was behind these lures. Brilliant. And dangerous. Now to bring her back to Pitchcliff. <laughs> uh, uh. 
You'll be happy to know I found another one of those lures and destroyed it. Should be the last you'll hear of it. By fire and spit, you went above and beyond. How do you know there won't be any more? The workshop where I found it was long abandoned. You're safe. Good. My troops want to spit and shake your hand, as my brother would have. On behalf of Pitchcliffe and my family, I thank you. Thank you.